CTV Community Television presents The Focus Program. Hosted by Paul Dingaman. Hey, welcome to another edition of The Focus Program. My name is Paul Dingaman. And I welcome you to the program. We've got a, a, lots of information for you today. Four uh, individual segments as I stumble through my words here to begin the show. But let's begin with a friend by the Laura Nessel from the Council on Aging. Nice Hi. to see you. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having you us brought on, Tamara Lavada. Lavati. Lavati with you. you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Focus Thank Set. You. you two are uh, representing a really important uh, project, couple projects here in, mm -hmm. in St. Clair County. Sure. One is the Foster Grandparent Program, mm -hmm. and the other one is the uh, Project Fresh. But Senior Project Fresh. Senior Project yes. Fresh. But yes. let's, uh, let's review what's been going on and what's coming okay. up. Okay, okay. Well, Senior Project Fresh is for low-income seniors that are 60 and older at 185% of poverty or less, and they receive a voucher book that has 10 $2 coupons, so $20 worth of vouchers for fresh produce from the local farmers market so they can um, purchase nutritious uh, food that's been grown locally they can talk to the people who grew it so what we're looking for is because we have to fundraise and purchase these coupon voucher books from the state so we're looking for people they're not that handouts will, huh no that will help support that um, yeah, we've sent out uh, so far 150, over 150 letters to local businesses and companies um, asking for donations. Um, we have heard back some responses. We have um, so far donations such as from Semco, mm. um, the Blue Water Federal Credit Union, um, Cargill, but we're definitely looking for um, many more. That Cargill is just oh, a wonderful, they wonderful They have been our, one of our biggest supporters yeah, and every year have continued to support it. When we first took over the program five years ago, it was at risk of not being in St. Clair County anymore, so the Council on Aging picked it up and asked us if we would you know, be involved with it in our program. So at that time, about 350 seniors were receiving the coupon vouchers. Last year, we served 918. Wow. And we well expected to be over 1,000 people this year. So. If you haven't throw up those uh, those pictures we've got of Project Fresh, mm -hmm. uh, it looks like those were taken down at the uh, Maritime. Um, yes, down at Vantage Point. Vantage Point. Those are courtesy of Liz Matthews, mm -hmm. who uh, runs the farmer's market down there. And those are some that she took this past summer. It, it, looks, yep. uh, it looks very inviting. We all are hoping for that. It that is. day to come very quickly, but that, yeah. there, that, that uh, farmer's market gets big crowds. It does, and the seniors can purchase uh, from there because she makes sure that all the farmers are registered to receive the coupon books, but some of them also participate um, in roadside stands or you know, other farmer's markets. So as long as the farmer participates, the seniors can purchase them from them using the coupons. Okay. And it is, you know, so great because it, it gets seniors out walking, you know, talking to people, and there's nothing like fresh tomato that's been picked that morning. Correct, <laughs> you know? correct, correct. And we're, we're fortunate here that there's a lot of stuff that is grown locally. Mm -hmm. Yes, that yeah, gets, we are. That, yeah. That not brought yeah. in from 25 miles, 25 uh, right. states away or something. It's, right. it's grown right here or in the sort of the immediate area. Yeah. Uh, the other project you have, mm -hmm is uh, grandparents. Talk to me yes. about that. Um, foster grandparents are 55 or older. Okay. And they're at 200% of poverty and they must be St. Clair County residents. And we do background checks on everyone and we train them and we place them and we support them in their placement. And so they volunteer an average of about 20 hours a week and they work with, work with at-risk children. Okay, so they work with children. Yes, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Um, in the schools, the Head Start programs, the at YMCA, you know, nonprofit daycares with the Sons program. So they work with children that need that little extra one-on-one -on -one attention and help, and they uh, volunteer as mentors and nurturers. And Do they get tutors. paid? There is a tax exempt stipend, so it's definitely not a wage. It's two sixty okay. five. But it covers maybe your your gas or something. It helps with that, and we we help them with transportation too through the Council on Aging Senior Transportation. If they don't drive, you know that that doesn't need to be a roadblock. They mm -hmm. can still volunteer. Um, we have some that are in wheelchairs, you know. So I mean that's still possible too. Um, 
as long as they're 55 or older and have the heart of a volunteer and a sincere desire to is you know, the, work with kids. Is the commitment uh, X amount of hours a week? The minimum can be 15, but the average amount is 20 hours. Really? Week. That many yeah. hours? Oh, and That's we, marvelous. we have many that want to volunteer more. So we have many that volunteer 25, 30 hours a week or more. So. Oh, that's marvelous. Well, you know, they, they form this relationship with the teachers yes. and with the kids. And, and the community. Yeah, and they know that they're doing something worthwhile with their time, and they want to be there. Uh, Evan's got some more pictures, too, of, uh, of some of the grandparents and their activities. We'll, th we'll take a look at those. And... Uh, and I do want to say that this year, nationally, it's the 50th uh, anniversary for the Foster Grandparent Program. And locally, it's 38 years with the Council on Aging. So. Wow, it's marvelous. Yeah. yeah. Um, nationally, there are over 25,000 foster grandparents. And um, they contributed 23 million hours last year. So locally, we have 65 volunteers, and every year they volunteer over 60,000 hours a year. Very busy together. place, yes. the Council on yes. Aging. Yep. How long have you been with them, Tamara? Um, approximately two months. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. just started. Yeah, you're a newbie. <laughs> yes, I am. You're, you're a really an old, yes. retired person. <laughs> but so I'm very it's, excited. It's great. And we're welcome to the community. Thank you. Welcome to the, to the effort. Laura, you've been doing this quite a while. 16 how, years. The, the people can help how, how much they can buy the coupons. What else can we do? Well, if, um, like I said, we're trying to raise money to purchase the coupons from the state mm -hmm. because... Um, the all the volunteers or all the volunteers all the participants will get one twenty dollar book right now so there's ten two dollar coupons uh, sometimes we're able to give some people a second book it is my desire that we could give every mm -hmm. participant a second book because forty dollars will go a little bit farther you know through yeah. the summer and even with that twenty dollars the seniors seem to be very grateful to receive that and be able to purchase that stuff and some of them can it and freeze it and it helps them mm -hmm, get through mm -hmm, the winter too mm -hmm. and i just want to say it's a win-win too because yes. normally they wouldn't be able to buy those fresh fruits and vegetables so we're they're getting the money to go out and do that and then it's coming right back to the farmers that have grown that produce okay, yeah, so right. it's a yeah. it's a win-win it's a big For circle the yeah. yeah they get to buy it that they otherwise wouldn't and then the farmers actually get that money back and so they wouldn't have, the farmers themselves wouldn't have gotten yeah. that money. It is a double bang for the buck. So Great. last year, um, the vouchers that we distributed helped seniors uh, purchase $22,700 worth of fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> wow. And it equally increased the local farmer sales by $22,700. Mm -hmm. so, That's marvelous. Yeah, that is, that yeah. really is marvelous. Yeah, yeah. So we're that, we're that very proud of, of those very excited about it. Win-win situation. Yes. If they need more information, where do they go? To um, Council on Aging, or they can call us at 810-987-8813. 8813, yep. 987 and, 8813. And that's the Foster Grandparent Program. It's also the same number for Senior Project Fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yep. Well, welcome to the community. Thank you very much. And you're doing a great job Thanks. already. <laughs> Take care, good Carol Laura. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back with our uh, next set of guests in just a second. Thanks. Hey, welcome back. We are back, and we are back with two friends. Deb Johnson, Executive Director of St. Clair County Community Mental Health. Hello, Pa. Uh, the Assistant Division Director, Amy Smith. Nice Hi, to Pa. See you. How Welcome are you? back. Uh, we are glad that you two are here because you've always got very important information to relate to the community. No different today. No, we have lots of things to talk we're about. We're going to talk about Run for Recovery, which is coming up in just less than a month almost, or about a month, and other stuff. So let's begin. Okay, well, um, our uh, annual Run for Recovery, Healthy Minds, Healthy Bodies, is coming up, as uh, the sign indicates, Saturday, May 9th. Um, and it, the reason we do the Run for Recovery, why we started initially, was um, because we want to really put emphasis on the importance of healthy minds and healthy bodies. So the physical activity component, um, and then obviously we provide mental health or behavioral mm -hmm. health services. Um, but that, that's a great way to get healthy. So even if you're not a runner, you could come to our event and you could walk. There's a one mile fun walk at 8.30 and then the 5K run is at nine. Uh, you can register, um, actually if you register early, it's a little bit cheaper by August, or eight August. April. 
April 17th. Um, and we, you can register online. Do you mm -hmm. want to tell them how to do that? You can register online at runsignup.com. Um, okay. And that's a, is that a national run sign up or is that a local? That's that's a national. National. Yep, and it's, it's so they're very familiar easily, with that. Yes, they're those familiar. runners are familiar with that. So right. it's it's really easy to sign up on it, or you can go to our website and uh, pull down the information and sign up that way also. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just check to make sure your mic's down right there. Or, uh, or you might see one of these brochures somewhere, um, and you can you can fill that out. Or you can stop in and just bring your check in and, or money and fill it out. If you get fifty dollars or more in donations, your registration is free, and then the fifty, you could donate fifty yourself, and then it'd be tax deductible, perhaps. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great way. The shirts are awesome. I almost bought last year's shirt here because I have it in the car to give to somebody. But um, anyways, it, it really is a great event. We had over 500 runners last year. I was just going to ask yes. that. How many runners yep. did you have? And last year was our largest. We had over 500. It's a great event. We also market it to the run clubs, the elementary school run clubs. So we have six, seven run clubs from the county come and participate. And those are growing and it. growing and walking clubs for the for yes. Pine River and other elementaries that is, they're really growing. So. Yes, yes. And so again, it's just um, re-emphasizing uh, re the importance of staying active and being healthy and, and helps with our stigma campaign too. If there's a profit made from that, what is it used for? Well, this year we're actually going to split the profit um, between um, the uh, St. Clair County um, su uh, Suicide, Survivors of Suicide Support Group the People's Clinic for Better Health, and the CMH Lifeline Fund. Our Lifeline Fund is used to fund things for individuals where there are no other public resources for it. They don't qualify. Oh, okay. Could be like a security deposit on emergency housing or the emergency housing itself. Um, could be some dental work, um, and they don't have any dental insurance and yeah. can't afford. So it could be food, it could be clothing, it could be different things like that. That's our fund. And then I think most people are familiar with the People's Clinic, right. which actually is moving into our building. Correct. They provide currently charity care for folks, physical health care. And then um, the Survivors of Suicide um, group, uh, Amy's been, is very um, involved Amy's with that. Amy's been instrumental on that in 10 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Nine, ten years at least. Yeah, that's about how long since the start of it. Yes. So. We do want to say that there are sponsorship opportunities um, for folks. Okay. Um, there's all different levels um, from 100 to 1,000, I think, now that right. I gave you the paper. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and if people are interested in sponsoring, they can contact um, Amy or... Um, Anybody at, at St. Clair County CMH? You um, got to get the. It says the sponsorship commit deadline is is passed, but you'll still. We'll still accept it. Accept right, it right. Camp. Up until the seventeenth of April, because then once they sponsor us, their names will be on the back of our shirts. Right. You got to print that so, stuff and get, exactly. them, get it out. And, so. and these are very reasonable, but you get a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. Minimum of five hundred people are going to see your message. Exactly. And uh, yeah, probably cool. many, many more. I was just saying the very cool shirts, so they can wear <laughs> over and over again. So and a lot people more do people wear. Can I work oh, out I know. At, at actually two gyms in the community, and I see those shirts all the time from different years of our run, so it's it's continual uh, promotion. And I've heard of uh, people who take their shirts and make them into quilts, too. I that, did that for one of my kids. Did you really? Yeah, for my daughter, Laura, because she was a big volleyball player back in the day. And, um, yeah, I made her a quilt before she went off to college, and she had a scholarship, so the center one was, oh my God. was the college. What a mom. Yeah. A mom. I didn't make it. I oh. did, I, I'm oh. sorry. I, <laughs> Um, but you told her, you, no, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, we want to tell you about one more event, unless you have more run questions. No, no. I okay. have no, no more questions. We, uh, April is Autism Awareness Month. Correct. And because of that, we have, um, or in honor of that, I guess, we have Judith Kokiavanis Col coming from the University of Michigan. Oh, she, really? She's a fabulous speaker. Yeah. Um, on April 23rd in the evening from 6 to 7 is for parents and caregivers of folks with autism or people just who want to learn more about it. And then on April 24th, all day, 8.30 to 4.30, is more geared for professionals who work with kids with autism. Um, and if people need uh, continuing ed credits, with a lot, with, which a lot of professionals do, you can get seven of those um, for $35. Box lunch for $5. Call CMH to register if you're interested for either event. There was an interesting school board meeting the other night, East China School Board meeting. And in the middle of the meeting, there was uh, some contentious stuff going on. They stopped the whole thing. And there's a young lady in Marine City by the name of Tina Rika, I believe is her name. And they had, she came up and she's an autistic patient. And she came up and read a proclamation that the board accepted. It was just really wonderful. Oh, wonderful. It was very, very moving. Very nice. Very wonderful. And, uh, of course, we've broadcast that uh, all week long on the school board meeting. But it was ironic to see people in, in big sessions of 
concern about buses and buildings closing and everything else. And here's a nice person standing there talking about autism. It was really nice. That's great. They actually invited me to come to a board meeting and talk. I don't know when I'm going, but I am going to do that. Good, good. So, well, yeah, good. talk yeah. about mental health. Yeah, mm -hmm. wonderful. All right, so the run is coming up, uh, but May May the 6th, we've got May that all covered. May 9th. May 9th, and if you want to go the 6th, you'll be early. You're right. You, you, can, pick up, you can pick up your, your run gear. That's right. The run bags will be available. actually start Thursday, Friday, right? Yeah. Okay. May 7th and 8th. But if you want to buy a sponsorship, those are still available for the first part of the month, yep. next month. Call us soon, though. Yep. Call us soon. Okay. Even $100, you can get your name on the shirt. Okay. Very good. Ladies, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Paul. It's always a pleasure Thank to you. be here. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. You. And uh, we are going to be back with uh, Karen Teen from uh, Marine City um, Wonderful Banquet Center. You got all sorts of stuff going on down there we we'll want to hear about. We'll be right back. <laughs> Next two segments have uh, some very important people involved in events involving the uh, Chambers of Commerce. One is Marine City, one is St. Clair, and let's welcome Karen Team from the Marine City Banquet Center to represent the Marine City Chamber of Commerce. Nice to see you. Welcome back to the Focus Row. Thanks, been a Paul. While since Glad you've been to on. be back. Yeah, yes. yeah. You've always got a smiling face. <laughs> always got a smiling face. Uh, the Banquet Center, they've done so many wonderful things there of remodeling and cleaning up and yes. making it a real important center. But you've got an event coming up that's, that's going to help everybody. Right, hosted by the Marine City Banquet Center. We have Business Expo 1, which is just getting our local businesses out, getting them to come on down, set a table up, and bringing the community in to see what everybody has to offer. This is the first time for it? First time for it, yes. Okay. So I'm very excited to be able to present it and yeah. work alongside the chamber and get some of our members and members of all chambers out. What kinds of businesses are you expecting? Right now I've got a landscaper, I've got a foreign exchange student program, I've been talking with financial advisors, tax accountants, uh, real estate agents. It's a real wide variety. Wide variety. Restoration company is I'm talking with. So we're looking for more and more of everything that's is Southern there, St. Clair so County. So they'll, they'll end up with a table, that kind of thing? And right. And they can set up a display? They run a table, set up a display. They can either be there or leave it unattended. I do prefer that they are there so that mm -hmm. they can greet the guests right, right. and, and fill be everybody more in. For them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so when is the the date? When is the deadline to register, and when's the date of the show? Deadline to register is April twentieth. The show is on Thursday, April thirtieth. Okay. Which, um, from ten to five p.m. People are going to be ready to spend money by April 20th. Perfect. Because that, the cabin fever is about over, but you still can't get out. But if I'm meeting with a landscape guy at a show like that, I, I really get itchy. That is exactly what my landscaper said. She said, that is such great timing yes. for me. Yes. So. Absolutely. Hopefully great timing for everybody else to get a little bit more well-known before the summer months set in. Uh, we're going to throw your phone number up uh, and your web address, but uh, if I need to get involved, is there a cost to it? And yes, we do have a cost. It's $125 no, it's for a bad. table. Only $100 if you are a member of any chamber of commerce in St. Oh, Clair any County. Chamber. Okay, any so. chamber. Oh, yep. super. Yep. I've been involved with chamber of commerce for yeah. a long, long I know time, you have. and they do such good work, and I want to help support the members who support the chamber right. so and that, uh, give them a little break. Okay. Now, let's also talk while you're here about the, the magnificent Marine City Banquet Center. And the fellows have got some pictures that they'll throw up on the, on the screen here. You've got really three sets of pictures. The first one, there's a, there's a general wedding picture uh, uh, where they've got uh, uh, it set up for a wedding. Talk to me about that one. Well, that's beautiful. 
weddings, we can do just about anything you want. We can set your tables up the way you want. We can get you specialized linens. It's just, how many a, people you will, name it. Uh, in a wedding situation, how many people will the restaurant, the, the banquet the facility? The banquet center can hold up to 375. Wow, 375. We've, we've had that many for the Fireman's Ball, which is an annual yep. event at the banquet yep. center as well. Yep. So up to 375, and we do have a smaller room that holds up to 100, so. The picture there, is that? Um, that is from the bridal show that we just oh, had yes, right. okay. a couple weeks ago. So that'll be similar to the, the show that you're going to do? It'll be similar, but all tables, yeah. whereas the bridal show, we had room for stores to bring in actual bridal dresses, so they had a little bit more room. Okay. And the last picture was the White Tails Unlimited. I think they ran some of that. Oh, that's the wedding again. That's that's the, um, the smaller center. banquet room. That's inside the Columbian room. Mm -hmm. We use that for the baby showers, small weddings, oh, okay. anniversary parties, things of so that if, nature. So if people haven't been there in a while, it uh, really is, is beautiful. It is beautiful. And we are such a center of the community mm -hmm. down that way. Mm -hmm and we want to be a bigger part of the community. So give us a call. Okay. The I'll number is simple. It's 765-5555. I mean, how you got that number at the beginning, that's great. You know, I don't know, but the hall has been there for 40, 50 years, and they've always had that number. So, And it, the hall was there prior to that different location. So we've been in the area for, for over a 100 time. years. Wonderful organization. Thank Great you so City much, Banquet Paul. Banquet Center. Always a pleasure to see you, Karen. And uh, that's your invitation to uh, your business to get into the expo. Give her a call at 765-5555 and uh, talk to Karen team. We're back with uh, Pat O'Connor and uh, a project that they've got going in the St. Clair Chamber in just a second. Thanks. Thank you. We're back with a friend by the name of Pat O'Connor, Shirt and Begora. You survived the uh, high holidays. I did. It just pumps me right up again. There you go. There you go. And you brought a friend by the name of Cecilia Warshall. Nice Hi. To meet you. Nice to meet you, now, too. On the air. We've met before. Yeah. We went on the air. Nice to see you. Uh, you two are here uh, with a great project. It was all over the Times Herald. It was a, a super idea that uh, Sarah Skinner came up with. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, she couldn't join us today. She had another conflict but talk to me about what this event is well it's actually a tandem event sarah's event um, is wrapped around her yoga and mm. it actually um, takes place all along the water from port here and down to green city mine mm. is designed to and it's called meet saint Clair. okay but it has the same function of a scavenger hunt which yep. is fun so um, you actually could do both of them at the same time mm -hmm. which would be um, really fun and lots of ways to uh, earn prizes. Mine, uh, 25 of the chamber businesses are participating. And what you do is uh, starting April 2nd, you come to the chamber office and you'll pick up a folder. And in the folder will be 25 pages, of uh, for one for each of the businesses. And the businesses are provided four to six questions that you have to go to the business to actually answer. And they're fun really fun questions and things that you have to poke around in their product perhaps or ask the owner mm -hmm. uh, the question or look for it on a, the wall someplace so it's it really is a good scavenger hunt um, when you're all done and you've answered all the questions you drop that packet back off to me and as you know i've been an educator for 43 years so i get my red pen out and i correct it and whoever gets the most right wins the prize and we're offering a pretty big prize it's five hundred dollars in chamber bucks that can be spent at any one of the 25 oh businesses. my god that's a great idea so it's five hundred dollars it's a lot you can get your car fixed at blue griffon auto uh, you can um, go take a yoga class at the <laughs> yoga room um, you can get a massage uh, at, at two different places either at st Clair wellness or body wise needs you can shop at any of the retail establishments. You can go to the restaurants. So, so 
There's a lot of different kinds of businesses uh, and ways they spend your money, or you could take $500 to Wellington and invest for your future. <laughs> you can even do that with the with the 500 Abs the chamber bucks. Absolutely, there's a lot. You well, can that's do a great idea. I thought you'd have to, you know, use it buy merchandise with it, but that's no. You, and, and today, Coughlin Jewelers signed on, so you can also take your 500 to the jewelry store <laughs> okay. right. if you'd All like. Right. Is there a time limit on that one? Yes. Um, we're going to run it uh, from starting April 2nd until June 1st, and okay. then we will uh, award the prize. Okay. Uh, Cecilia, talk to me about uh, uh, Sarah Skinner and the yoga shop and what your, your yoga shop at St. Clair and what you guys do and yeah. how you're involved in this promotion. Yeah, well, you know, Sarah's a newer business, the yoga yep. room. So yep. to St. Clair, we're drawing in a lot of the yoga community here in town. Mm -hmm. But we're also looking at cities like Marine City, right. like Marysville, trying to get more awareness around yoga and getting them into the yoga room doors. So one way to do that um, is the scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So Sarah is not only promoting herself through the yoga room, right. but she's taking her business and yoga with her out to Port Huron mm -hmm. and all the way down to Marine City. So she has, like Pat, over 30 businesses involved from Port Huron to Marine City. So they're parallel kinds of pro promotions. They are. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, similar. Only what we'll be doing is on April 1st, you will get a set of clues for all of these businesses. Okay. And in order to be entered to win the prize, you have to strike a yoga pose okay. at this location okay. of where the clues are leading you. Okay. And hopefully you're at the right location. How so. did you get involved in yoga? Why did you get involved in yoga? Oh, goodness. Um, about five years ago almost, I was up in Marquette. Okay. And Shoveling snow. Yeah, in misery, right? <laughs> no, so um, one of my best friends from Colorado, she was a yoga teacher in training. Okay. And I was at a tough time in my life, and I reached out to her, and she said, Cecilia, you have to get into a yoga class. And it's, uh, it helped. I went, and I haven't stopped since. So now you're an instructor. And now I teach, yeah. How many uh, teachers do they have, you and Sarah, or just? Oh. It would be me and Sarah and two others. Okay. Yeah. So you've got some pretty good class. you got classes yeah, all got, day? Yeah, oh yeah, classes all all week. There's at least four classes a day I think she has. Mm -hmm. So she runs from morning until the evening. So, you know, people who stay at home, they have times in the morning. And those who get off of work, we have times for yoga at that time. Wow, and you're in the mall? Yes, the North End, yes. North End. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. One of the ways we're actually uh, supporting each other is mm -hmm. Sarah is a chamber member, and so she signed up to be one of the Meet St. Clair participants. Mm -hmm. So you can go to her yoga room and fill out that page of questions. And I'm also one of the business sites on uh, the Strike mm -hmm. a Pose. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for people to come to the chamber office and <laughs> do the Down Strike Dog. A, yeah. Down your dog, right. That's right, and yes. we're offering a prize as well. So yeah. we're we're supporting each other as chamber members do. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. That's yes. ex exactly the way to do it. And speaking of that supporting each other, mm -hmm. I noticed a big public relations uh, release a week or so ago from your office uh, regarding the, the courtyard and that there was a, a matching grant of some yes. kind. Yeah, there, there is. Um, the Merchants Association uh, in the plaza have uh, come up with a way to increase the amount of money that can potentially be used to finish off the courtyard. Now, I think it's real important to understand the courtyard will be finished okay. um, with the original grant money. But just recently, another grant was applied for, and they got it. Uh, $62,500 was awarded from the Pure Michigan mm -hmm. uh, grant, and it's a matching grant. We only get the money if the locals raise $62,500. But I, mm -hmm. I can tell you they're on their way. Um, they're about two-thirds of the way so far. Isn't that wonderful? And the merchants then decided, the mer plaza merchants said, you know, we're going to increase this. And this is the way the grant works. Um, it, uh, well, I'll give you a good for instance. Uh, the St. Clair Women's League right. and the uh, Garden Club. You know I'm a member right. of both. Um, we made a motion to give $500 to, to this because this is our town. We right. want to support it. So the Merchants Association will match our $500 and make it $1,000. Wonderful. And then it goes up to the Pure Michigan that's being uh, raised mm -hmm. through the 
uh, the Port Huron um, Association up there that's, that's community the foundation. community foundation. And our 1,000 becomes 2,000 now. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. So for our 500 there, our 500 there, and the chamber is committing 500 as well. And so for a local person, I work in the um, plaza mm -hmm. at the chamber office. I gave my money. I mm -hmm. gave $100, mm -hmm. and my $100 became $400. That's marvelous. It is, and it's it's a wonderful way to build that, and it, it I think it says a lot about the community that is there. That well, people well are going to see some, some changes real quickly. As soon as it warms up another 4 yes. or 5 or 10 degrees, the rest of the grass will go in, and then uh, the rest of the improvements, there's uh, some fire pits and stuff right. going in. And, and, and so it's going to be an exciting, yeah, and the artwork is going to be an exciting spring. But it's and been confusing a little bit because the people thought the 62,000 was necessary to finish it. It's not. It's the... It's the polish on the apple. And there was some confusion that it was tax money and there's right, no, and it it's all private money. So it that's is. the nice part of it. Some wonderful, generous donators. We live in a great town. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. So in Marine City too. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you're encouraging people to uh, get into yoga. Yes. Why is it good for them? Yeah, mind, body, spirit. Anybody who has um, maybe suffering from discomfort, pain, joint discomfort, low back is a huge reason. I think you love what you do. I do love what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but we're, we're, we're accessing a group of people anywhere from children all the way up to, you know, the elderly. You know, there's chair yoga. There's all sorts of variations that we can access through yoga. We're just trying to get more people involved. And this is one way of doing it. Well, welcome back to the community. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Came back from that big cold area up <laughs> north there. <laughs> it came back a while ago, but see ya. and I'll make um, just one more note Take for anybody time. who is looking to still register. If you register by the end of March, you'll be able to still get a yoga room T-shirt for the scavenger hunt, and it's ten dollars. Okay. But you can still register to do the scavenger hunt throughout April, even if you you know miss the boat at the end of March. So. YogaRoomSC.com is the website, and then you can stop in and see us. If you can't get to the website, come see us at the Riverview there, Plaza. That, there's the invitation. <laughs> Patricia, always a pleasure. Thanks, very Paul. nice to have seen you. That's about it for this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Until next time, I'm Paul Damon. See you soon.